We're here to talk about the best picture, which is the biggest, most important nomination. And in this year, it's, it's as wide open probably as we've ever seen before, Elizabeth. It really is. This is the first year in a while that we've seen. This could really be anyone's game to win the race. But there are a few front runners. Of course, Roma and Green Book are two big front runners. But there's also films like Black Panther that, of course, got a ton of attention. So right. like you said, Alex, it's really there's no shoe in this. Year. All right. So let's talk about Black Panther, because that is the movie that most people have actually seen. Yeah. <laughs> one of the biggest it's movies for, the, for Oscars, shame. What, what exactly. the biggest movies in the history of Hollywood. Michael, if Black Panther wins, it would make history in a lot of ways. It really would. Look, Roma goes in as sort of the favorite, but I think it falls short, ultimately. And, you know, the way they vote, they have this Kafakta preferential voting system where you have to get 50% plus one. So I think, you know, Black Panther is definitely going to be in most people's top three choices. So yeah. I think it really has a real shot at winning. It, look, it earned $700 million at the domestic box office. It was a great movie all around. And it would be a first, especially for the comic book a, a First for, yeah. for comic book yeah. movies. And such an important movie when it comes to diversity in Hollywood as well. Of course. And, you know, the win already is, Michael, you mentioned the box office. I mean, Black Panther is a phenomenon all around. There's no way to get around that. I don't think it's going to win Best Picture. And the nomination itself is historical. It's the first Marvel film mm -hmm. to be nominated for Best Picture. If it won, it would be the first Marvel film to win Best Picture. Right. Okay, so now let's talk about Roma, which would also make history in a big way, because yeah. we're all used to going to the movie theater. The big movies come in the movie theater. Well, this happened on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Streaming. Netflix has so much money behind this. This could change the way we see movies forever, Elizabeth, if it, this wins. It could. Now, Netflix put, I believe, $30 million in the marketing for Roma. Yeah. The film only costs $15 million to produce. So double the amount on marketing. And it worked. Everybody's talking about it. It's a monumental film. Now, there was a theatrical release in addition to the Netflix release. And Roma really could win. It's on the favorites of a lot of critics' top list. But this, in a way, kind of sets a dangerous precedent for the movie industry because it's saying do we not need to go to theaters anymore? Can we just watch streaming films and watch well, movies from And Michael, couch? you're an executive. You talk with a lot of these executives. Are there people that are scared of that, of that well, happening? Yeah, this that is message. the final straw for for Netflix in this town, really. I mean, they're in a, a, a really competitive battle with the studios for talent. And to date, they have yet to be able to say, we can deliver an Oscar. So if they win if they win Sunday night, yeah. this will be it for them. They can, now say they, they can deliver Oscars for stars and actresses and actors. Right. And think about it. It will be the first time in history where should they win, 60 million people in the U.S. could click on and see the best picture instantly. Right, right away. And right away. Elizabeth, your favorite is Green Book. Why? You know, I think that Green Book will ultimately take it, and if not, Roma is in second place. But at the beginning of Oscar season, I said I think Green Book could win. Now, it's also been riddled with a ton of controversy. We don't have time to get to it all. That's how much controversy there is. But I thought it might even be snubbed from the nominations because the controversy with the director, Peter Fairley, happened days before Academy closing voted. They voted for it in all categories. So clearly, they didn't care. They let it go. This is really a great film. Mahershala Ali, Viggo Mortensen, both great. Yeah. So I think that ultimately that will walk away. But can I throw a curveball at you? Let's hear your curveball. I think the curveball that could win, that would shock us all, but maybe not after award season, could be Bohemian Rhapsody. Mm. I Wow. <laughs> wow. Wait, but I have I a question. Not, I, but, Michael, if I said that before the Golden Globes, you would have said, wow. Yeah. No, and it I, won. I, I think but the whole Brian Singer controversy has really sort of damaged that movie, with the exception of Rami Malek, who I think will probably wind up winning Best Actor. Yeah, and I Brian Singer win, is the director who's yeah. had some challenges Issues. when yeah. it comes to... <laughs> That's putting Sexual. it lightly, Allegedly. and you're being a little okay. too polite, Alex. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, thank you both for your perspectives. We really appreciate it, and we'll see what happens uh, on Sunday. It's going to be interesting to see so much money at stake for this town, too, in terms of the future of entertainment. Yeah. Michael Elizabeth, thank you very much. So we've got a busy morning, a lot more to come. We're also going to be talking with Marcellus Reynolds because fashion is what so many people really care about when it comes to the red carpet, right? We'll have that coming up a little bit later here on Good Day LA. Back to you guys.